Okay, hello everyone. So what I want to do today is show you how to insert citations and make a bibliography within your document using Zotero. Um, now the first thing you probably need to do is go to your Zotero library on your computer, click under Tools, and go to Add-ons, and just make sure that your version of, Word, of your Word document is there. So I use Word here, and I've I've got it here. I can disable it. Um, right now it's enabled. So that, that ensures that when I open up my Word document, I will have access to Zotero. So let me just open up a Word document here. Um, let me first take you to where this is how my Word document would normally open, where I see the typical ribbons at the top. Now you can see here Zotero is listed here. So click on that. Now what you see here is an add citation or edit, add or edit bibliography, and then there's a couple other things here. So under your document preferences, um, make sure that you are clicked on Chicago Manual of Style, full note, and then you can decide whether your citations are uh, footnotes or endnotes. Um, and I will just hit cancel because I don't want to change anything in mine. And this is how it works. So say you've got a sentence here that you need to cite, go under Add Citation, and then um, you, should you should know your author here. In this case, I'm just making this up. So let me see what comes up here. Uh, I'll just pick anything here. Um, okay, so this is going to add the citation to my footnote. Now, I need a specific page number. So if you right-click, or actually left-click on the name, you can insert a page. So let me say page 65. And then hit enter. And then hit enter one more time. And then down at the bottom, you can see what this amazing thing did. It added the entire footnote here. So the author, the, the title. Now it's, it is uh, not totally correct here because this is a book and it shouldn't have quotation marks, but you can go in and uh, make some edits to that. And then there's the page 65. And let me just show you a few more sentences and do the same thing. Uh, let me add this one and then click on the page number. Now I don't know if these are the correct page numbers. I just have to assume that they are. Again, you can look down at the bottom. In this case, this, this reference looks correct. It's got the name of the author. Um, et al just means there's other authors. And then the name of the journal article, uh, the name of the journal itself, and then the page number that I, that I clicked on. And let me just add one more. I don't know, I'm just thinking, just doing random. And then page 65 again. Hit return and then hit return. Okay, and so you see all this down at the bottom. Now, when you're finished with writing your paper, uh, you can add a bibliography. Now, I had I just hit return a few times. Uh, probably the best way is to hit page insert in your document. Um, but now I'm just going to click add bibliography and look what this did. It created the bibliography for you. Um, and it took the sources I used and then recreated them here. So this is a, a pretty amazing tool to be using now that you've got um, a number of citations in your Zotero library. Um, you can start using this in your classes to write your papers and it'll save you a massive amount of time.